Hey guys, it's Alms. Welcome back to my channel. This week is going to be a little different from the rest of my videos. This week is going to be a whole week of vlogging. I've always like had some problems with my mental state and like kind of like my weight where I am as like a dancer and like I've always wanted to be like a little bit thinner and like I have really really bad anxiety and so basically my mom was like we need to get all this stuff figured out because you're eating all the right foods like you should basically be like really happy in your mental state and so we went to a doctor they basically took a bunch of my blood and we got a bunch of stuff tested and it turns out that I was allergic to all these foods that were making my gut really inflamed and they were foods like cow milk mold and eggs and all these things I never actually like stuck to not eating any of those foods so this week is kind of me going completely vegan and completely gluten free I have a high intolerance to gluten as well I'm going to see how it affects my mental state and my physical state. So, I wanted to bring you guys along with me. I thought it might be entertaining because one of my main food sources is cheese. I love cheese. Cheese is literally my favorite food. And it's one of the things that I have the highest intolerance to. So, it's going to be very, very funny. To see whether I can really stay away from cheese through the whole week. It's Monday right now and I'm going to go until Friday night. And do five days completely vegan and completely gluten free. So that's what we're doing this week. So I'm just making coffee. So basically for breakfast, what I'm having is a piece of gluten-free toast with some avocado and some olive oil and some different spices and some coffee with soy dairy-free creamer. Guess who's having a second cup of coffee because <laughs> guess who's severely addicted to caffeine? Okay, so I just looked up whether or not bubble tea is vegan, and it says that boba is vegan as long as, like, you substitute your milk for, like, almond milk or something, then it's, like, completely vegan, which I'm, like, really happy about because I'm so addicted to boba. So, I might order that later. Okay, so I just put the puppy in her crate for a nap. And I'm gonna go get ready to go to the studio. I need to make my mom and myself lunch. So I'm gonna go get ready and then I'm gonna make us vegan avocado sandwiches, which will be really, really yummy. Okay, so took a shower, did my makeup, got dressed, I'm wearing tube top and skirt. That right now I'm going to have a vegan avocado sandwich. So basically that is two pieces of bread with some veginase on it and some mustard. And then um, in the middle is tomatoes, red onions, lettuce, and avocado. And it sounds kind of gross, but it's like really, really good. I highly recommend it. Um, I am using gluten-free and vegan bread. Okay, so... This is what it looks like. It's like packed, as you can see. There's like spinach, lettuce, tomato, onions, avocado, um, veginase, and mustard in here. Okay, so I only had about half of that sandwich because I was still kind of full from the sushi. So, um, I'm saving the other half for after I get back from dance. And um, in the meantime, I ordered some boba. My bubble tea came. Okay, so for my bubble tea, I got um, Earl Grey tea with soy milk and boba. And the boba is um, gluten-free and vegan, which makes me really, really happy because I am obsessed. What's up? My first day of veganism.
days um I haven't eaten dinner yet so it's not like officially the end of the day but I just got back from dance so basically I went to dance I finished my boba at dance and then I danced for three hours don't have any footage of that because my phone was actually dead I dance um, I'm gonna go finish my avocado sandwich that I made earlier and do some more school because I really haven't done that much school today I'm gonna be weighing myself throughout the week. I'm not gonna put my weight up on the screen I'm gonna weigh myself every day during today like in the morning and at night and see how much weight I lose every day and I'm not gonna put like my weight on the screen but I'm gonna put how much weight I lost if I lost any at the end of the week so on Friday I'll be sharing with you guys how much weight I lost so I made some fried tofu because I was still hungry and fried tofu is vegan Day two, basically after I checked in with you guys, after I went to dance last night, um, I went downstairs, I finished my sandwich, and then I had some fried tofu, and that was pretty much it for the night. I got a good nine hours of sleep last night. I'm gonna go weigh myself, and I'm on puppy duty the entire morning. So basically for breakfast, I made some oatmeal and I just put some vegan butter in it, so like earth balance in it, and then I put some almond milk in it, and it's muy bueno. So I just took a shower and it's raining out and it's really cold, so that's why I have a blanket wrapped around me. I had a giant coffee. For lunch, I am going to be making vegan mac and cheese. Okay, so I just finished the cheese. I blended it until it was like this pretty smooth consistency. Once my pasta is done cooking, I'm just gonna like add it right in. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I put a little sprinkle of nutritional yeast on the top. It really does look like mac and cheese though. So I'm really excited to eat it. So we went and took the puppy for a walk. My mom's going to pick me up a matcha latte um with almond milk so it's vegan and then we're gonna go to puppy class and then we're gonna come home and eat some dinner hey guys for a snack i'm just having some of these chips that are vegan and they're really good i'm like really hungry right now End of day two being vegan and gluten free. So after we took Sammy for a walk, I came home and I was really hungry and so I got a bag of chips out. I started eating them and there must have been something in those chips because when I was on my way to puppy class right after that, my stomach started hurting really, really, really badly. I don't know what it was in the chips, but it was like 10 minutes after I had a couple handfuls of chips and um, my stomach hurt really, really, really badly and it hurt all throughout puppy class. I came home, it was still hurting. So I didn't even eat dinner, I got right in the bath. I took like a two hour bath tonight to just try to like soothe my body. I didn't eat dinner tonight. I had tea, that counts, just chamomile um, with nothing in it. And overall today, besides the stomach ache for like three hours of my day, I felt very, very tired overall today. That could just be my body adjusting to this new diet. Overall today, I just felt very lethargic and kind of like dead inside. I mean, when am I not? But like, it just like felt more so today. Yeah, so 
I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Hey guys. It's day three. Yesterday, I was feeling very lethargic. I wasn't feeling my best. I had a headache. I don't really know what was going on. I think my body was just kind of adjusting. Basically, today, I just have to go to dance. Later today, I have to get a lot of school work done. Basically, I woke up, I got some coffee, I played with the puppy, and now I'm here filming this intro for the day. I'm also going to sew a new pair of point shoes. I already started making banana pancakes. I just kind of mashed up a banana downstairs and left it in a bowl with some almond flour. But I haven't really eaten anything yet. I'm going to try to make banana waffles with no eggs. And I'm gonna go look up whether or not maple sugar candy is vegan or not because I'm really craving maple sugar candy. Um, okay, so that didn't really work out because couldn't use eggs, aka it wasn't holding together. <laughs> so just got a piece of toast and some coffee. And that's that. Yeah. So I got back into bed um because i really didn't feel like getting out of bed my mom made me this green smoothie with like coffee and spinach and protein powder and stuff and almond milk is completely vegan yeah it's really good oh hey guys what's up it's been a day i'm sorry i haven't been able to film a lot of today i don't know why i still have my bun in it's like 10 p.m i got home like two hours ago. I got really hungry after my smoothie, so I decided to have a sandwich. Um, it was just the same vegan avocado sandwich that I had the other day. And so I had that right before I went to dance, and then right after dance, um, the popsicle place at my dance studio opened back up today, so uh, me and my friend Remy stopped there for popsicles today. I got a coconut milk one so i made sure it was vegan then i got home and i had soup all my family was tempting me because they all put a bunch of cheese on their soup um and i couldn't have any so that was really depressing but i got two pieces of toast instead of one so like i guess that makes up for it and that's pretty much all i've eaten today i'm not feeling as lethargic as i did yesterday though which is really good in ballet class and stuff i felt a lot more energized and a lot more like alert so that was good yeah i'm gonna keep going for the next two days and see how my body reacts yeah also guys wash your hands because coronavirus is spreading like mad get hand sanitizer i know that like all the cvs all the walgreens are like out of yes completely and amazon is charging like 80 dollars a bottle for it but really 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 try to sanitize your hands wash your hands don't get the coronavirus stay healthy stay four of this experimental situation. I'm actually feeling like really good today. I didn't have any cheese last night, even though my family was eating so much of it and I'm so freaking proud of myself. I feel the best I've felt all week. I woke up, I just like don't have a headache this morning. Granted, I've also, like already had two cups of coffee today it's like 10 in the morning about to have my third is there any chance that you could do it okay guys hey so for dinner i'm having some kale with pesto, some tofu, and some potatoes. Hey guys, it's the end of day four. I have like 24 hours left. Honestly, like I feel 
so much less like bloated. Today it was really hard because I was really sick of all the food in my house. I pretty much had been eating the same like five things for the past three days and I was like fuck this you know. Um, I Ubered to like a local grocery store and bought some things and then I went to dance at a modern studio. They were doing hip hop there tonight. I just feel a lot more energetic and a lot more peaceful today. Hey guys, it's Hans. Um, day five. You know, I'm feeling really good today. I had some toast this morning and some just Daya vegan mac and cheese because I was feeling it, you know. So far this week, I feel like not only have I felt better in my body but I've also lost almost three pounds which is insane and I've been eating the same amount I just have not been eating certain foods so I'm not done yet I still have the rest of this day I will check in and see you guys later catch me eating vegan cheese for the rest of my life I got boba because y'all know I'm addicted. We decided to go get boba and that's that. Of course I got soy milk in mine, so that is vegan. That's a lot of boba. <laughs> and I got double boba because boba's life, bro. Yeah. Hey guys, it's been a crazy week. Let's just say I've had a lot of fun doing this diet. Overall, I've lost a little under three pounds in five days, so if you don't know like anything about weight, that's a lot. It's been a very fun and interesting experience to see how my body reacts to not eating the foods I'm allergic to. <laughs> I definitely am going to keep somewhat of this diet up but more importantly guys wash your hands coronavirus is spreading like mad there are like 24 cases at the hospital right next to my house so <laughs> so wash your hands get hand sanitizer take hot showers and eat healthfully that is something i hope you learned from this video eat healthfully it can really change your life yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you liked it i hope that it helped you in some way um go right down there and give it a like go subscribe turn on that little bell notification because then you will get notification when i post so you can be the first to like comment and view so do that and I will see you in the next video, which will be next Saturday, and I have super fun things planned, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that bell notification. Um, comment down below what you want to see on this channel and like it, and yeah. Okay, I love you all so, so, so much, and um, that's all I have to say. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye!